remember to subscribe. Now let's see how he helps out uh, the Houston Rockets. So he is an incredibly efficient at rim score. Okay. Um, and he is so he's so powerful and athletic, right? He really just cuts to the rim. He can blow by bigs that are um, a little bit slower. And here he just like forces his way past Nerlens Noel, who's a pretty good defender in his own right. Okay, when he sees slower bigs, he'll take them out a little bit. And just do this. That's Stephen Adams. Like this is really really impressive. Okay, so his his athleticism right here is Tobias Harris. He's just gonna bully him. Right, so if you're a small ball four and you have to play against him, he's gonna bully you a little bit and then use his touch around the rim because he really does have a good touch around the rim. Um, here we go again, okay, against Al Horford, still a pretty good defender. Um, uses his, his bank off the glass, right? So this is what he's gonna do for the Rockets. I think the Rockets are gonna transition a little bit um, in, into how they move the ball. And if they rely on Christian Wood a little bit more around the rim, it'll be a really good thing for everybody involved, okay? All right, here we go again, right? He's gonna pick and pop. He's a reliable three-point shooter. The Rockets haven't really had like too great of a pick and pop threat in my opinion in recent years, um, at least as, as like a true big, I should say. And Christian Wood can definitely, definitely, definitely do that. Um, and you're gonna see him attack closeouts as well, right? Catches Al Horford flat-footed. As Horford's trying to close out for the three, comes in for the monster jam. Now Detroit even used him off screens a little bit, right? So that's kind of the gravity he he has. And I think we're gonna see Houston do more of this next year, find ways to get more creative with him and and you know, using bigs off of screens, even if it's coming uh, off of the screens instead of pick and roll and then roll yourself. That's something that's becoming more in vogue in today's NBA. And Christian Wood, because of his shooting touch, is someone that uh, we're gonna see this happen uh, more and more of. Right? Look at this little screen right here. He kind of flares out to the corner and he misses there, but it's a good looking stroke. And I think Houston's gonna get creative in how they do it. Here he sets a pin down and rolls, okay? So he can be used as a screener. Um, they can get a little freaky and use him coming off screens, kind of the way Dallas does with um, with with Porzingis, right? And Minnesota does uh, with, with Carl Anthony Towns. I love the way he pauses before he rolls. Okay, to give himself room to explode. I love how he does that. That's gonna work really nice with him and James Harden and, and Russell Westbrook if they both stay there in Houston. He has uh, gravity as well. Look him draw. Look at him draw Nerlens Noel back. Um, and, and so McCray gets like, you know, an uncontested floater right there, right? Look at him. Look how far Noel has to stay with Christian Wood because Wood is a lob threat. This is gonna help um, Houston a lot, right? And kind of revive a little bit of what they had with Capella here. You see the defense hedge out on Christian Wood because he is a pop threat. So they don't really know if he's gonna roll, if he's gonna pop. And then off the dribble blow by for a nice little score. So you can already picture him working pretty well with Harden and Westbrook because of his gravity, either as a roller or a shooter, all right? Now defensively, I think he can be a drop big because he does have a long wingspan and he, he's got decent footwork, but it's you definitely don't want him out on the perimeter, but he's a, a quick twitch athlete. Watch him get back up and block the shot. Right, so he'll block shots just because of his athleticism and wingspan and, and being quick, but really, really helps. There you go, run the floor, Seawood. Right, I'm happy for this kid. Um, you're gonna see it here. Uh, you know, look at the quick hands, right? So I think he can be successful in a drop coverage scheme, kind of like Brook Lopez in Milwaukee. Um, right you see him drop again there now you will see him opt out of guarding on the perimeter because he knows that's not a strength of his ready watch him say no 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 switch 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 you take him you take him um kind of on this next play you're going to see the hawks take advantage of it again because they're going to roll john collins anyways right so houston got a good one here and it'll be interesting to monitor how they use christian wood offensively and defensively Remember to subscribe. Now let's see how he helps out uh, the Houston Rockets. So he is an